yes, yes, yes. Baron Borshaister here. Baron Borshaister for another, another, uh, another video on um, on basically Fartwell Manor. I suppose I was gonna was gonna do the posh closh because uh, we got um, we've, we've I really got to get this thing sorted out and show you how to make these things because uh, we've got the, what's the thing coming up the midsummer. Yes, we've got um, uh, for God's sake, what's the thing I think called? not the summer so yes it's the summer solstice we've got the summer solstice coming up that's what it is and all the druids like to have their candles and things ready and i thought if i could might be able to flog a few of these you know up at um up at the old stonehenge you see so maybe if, you, if i can get some made up i can flog some up at stonehenge you know at midnight or whatever or sunrise that's what it is sunrise you know i don't know why you want a candle at sunrise really but um you know before sunrise you might want one but um, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Well, uh, stuff I've got to tell you about, you see. Very important. Very important. Let's just have a bit of the old lubrication first, bit of the old pink ginger. That's better. That's a bit of lubricant. So, uh, what are we talking about? We're going to talk about a dog, you see. Now, uh, in Fartwell Manor, about three years ago, Lady Fartwell decided that they needed a dog, you see. They thought they'd have a dog. And they didn't know what dog to get, you see. And uh, and uh, they've got a good friend, Brigadier Cheatham. I don't know if you remember, but he was the one that um, relieved me of um, all my wealth, really. Uh, but anyway, he um, he uh, he said to them, he said, "What you actually need is a, a is a is you know you've got a big house, so you need a big dog, you see. You've got to have a big dog, you see. So you know what you need is a big dog, like a deer hound, you see, like a great dog, deer hound." So he said, oh, marvellous, marvellous, um, marvellous, that's what we need. We need a big dog. We need a, um, a, a, a deer hound, you see. So I'll just bring you from that. And, um, and, and so, um, so they said, so that's it, we're going to get this big dog. So the next morning, uh, Brigadier Cheetham turns up with this deer hound, you see, this deer hound puppy. And, um, and of course, uh, Lord and Lady Butler, they fall in love with it. And, um, and they say, well, that's it, we've got to have this deer hound, we've got to have this deer hound. And um, so, uh, so, uh, so Brigadier Cheatham says, well, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's 25,000 pounds, you see. And, uh, and, and Lady Fartwell said, well, surely, surely that's a bit much for a, um, for a dog, isn't it? And he said, well, it is a deer hound, you know, it's not a, it's not a cheap one, you know, it's a deer hound, you know. And, um, and she said, oh, of course, of course, yes. Well, yeah. so she, he, he got the 25,000 pounds. So, so basically, old Cheetah, you see, he, he, he probably bought the dog for 500 quid and he sold it for 25,000, you see. So not bad day's work, I can tell you. Yeah. Not bad if you can do that sort of thing. But um, anyway, so then, then they had to decide what to call this thing, you see. What to call this dog, you see. And, and, and what? Well, no, they didn't. You see, when I go, I, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. When uh, Lady Fartwell was um, was talking about the money, um, uh, Cheatham, he said to her, he said, "If you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. You see, and you don't want a monkey. You want want a dog." You see, and she said, "Oh yes, very good." So that's another reason why she paid paid so much for this this mutt, really. But here we go. Here's the thing. So. Uh, you know, you can't make this up. So they, 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 they thought, well, we're going to have to call this dog. We're going to have to give it a good name. You see, big dog needs a good name. You see, and um, uh, Lord Fartwell, he's a, um, he by his title is, um, he's not a baron like me. He's a vice count. You see, and, and vice counts are higher than barons. I don't know if you know this sort of thing, but I'm just a bit of education here. You see, um, so, so the vice count, but, but, but Lady Fartwell, she doesn't. She, she wasn't really satisfied, she's not, secretly, she's not satisfied with just having a vice count, you see. So she thought she'd call the dog Duke, you see, which is higher than the vice count. She thought, that'll be excellent, you see. But then Lord Fartwell found out about it, and he said, well, if you're going to call it Duke, we should go one higher than, we should call it King, you see. Call the dog King. So that's what the dog was called, you see. So this dog is called King. Well, it was called King. What, what could it but so what happened was well it, it's it's now grown up and it's it's basically brown and hairy big brown and hairy a bit like king kong you see so everyone started calling this dog king kong 
And I thought, well, you know, they, they didn't pay peanuts and they still got a monkey, you see. But, but anyway, anyway, but then, then basically the king got dropped, you see, and now the dog's just called Kong, you see, so, so it's just Kong, so this dog's called Kong, you see, and I, of course I have to go and walk the dog, I feel quite sorry for it because it's, it can roam around the manor, you see, but it doesn't see much else, so if I ever get on a bus and go, go down to the beach, down, in, down, down to Portsmouth and stuff, um, I'll take Kong down with me, you see. Um, so, uh, so then the other day I was, um, I, I don't know whether it's down at Portsmouth, but it's one of the local beaches and I was walking Kong along the beach. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I was walking along, minding my own business, and this strange person came up, googly eyed and everything, shouting at me, and said, get off, get off, get off, they would say, get off. And I, I said, well, I'm, I'm not on anything, really. I'm not really on anything. I, I take a few tablets, you see, I take a few tablets because I get a good bit of arthritis and stuff and I have more more pains than um, more pains than Pilkingtons, you know, Pil Pilkingtons is a, a glass manufacturer if you, if you don't know, but, um, so I get more pains than Pilkingtons, I said to this person, um, so I'm not actually on much at all. And she said, no, she, no, it wasn't just, no, just a person, they said, uh, they said, no, 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 um, it's illegal. And I said, I, and, 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 and they were pointing at Kong, and they said, it's illegal. And, and I said, I said, I don't know if I've got the right spectacles on, but I, I think I, I brought a dog on the beach with me, and it's not an eagle, I said, and it's definitely not an illegal, I said. And, and, um, and I said, if you've seen any illegals around, let's hope they, um, they haven't got a dicky tummy, because, um, well, because, uh, because I forgot to bring my umbrella, you see. So, um, because it was a nice day, and I didn't really need it. So, and they, and they said, no, it, you know, it's illegal to have your dog on the beach. And I said, no, 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 that you mean it's unlawful to have my dog on the beach. So I said, I ever so sorry, but, but we're actually, we're actually walking in the sea, you see, and um, so we're not actually technically on the beach. We're not actually on the beach. We're actually in the sea. And so they, they just. Um, they couldn't really compute that, you see. They should have had a bit of lubricant, I think. They, you know, mentioned it, they should have had a bit of lubricant and they could have sorted themselves out. So, so there's that, anyway. So where are we now? Where are we? So, um, yes, going back to Kong. Yes, going back to Kong. Um, uh, I, think, I think there's somebody coming. I, I, so I've got to end this video. So, so to Lou for now, everybody, and um, and I, and I, and, I, and, I, and we, we, I'll carry on the story on the next video. So cheers, everybody, and uh, to Lou.